to today's headline. A boy not part of Biafra. Simon Ekwal is the new bandit terrorizing Southeast. Governor Humayi speaks. A boy not part of Biafra. Simon Ekwa is the new bandit terrorizing Southeast. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Dear Boy State Governor, David Umayi has described self-acclaimed member of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipo. Simon Ekwar as a bandit leading terrorist to destabilize the southeast region. Hekwa, who claimed he was disciple of Namtekanu, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra Lipo, rose to prominence in July 2021 after he was announced as the lead broadcaster of Radio Biafra. Some people have been reportedly queued by miscreant enforcing a five-day seat at all order issued by him, despite opposition by high pop. Ekpal in a viral video had ordered the people of the Southeast to observe a sit out home from December 9 to 14, 2022. An order that has been marked by bloodshed and destruction of lives and properties in the region by its enforcers. Although IPOB, through its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, denied ever issuing any sit at home order on the days mentioned above violence and continued to reign in the region. Speaking while well addressing stakeholders, and party members of the All Progressives Congress on Thursday. Umayi said a boy state could not be part of Biafra. While lamenting the continued killings and destruction of lives and properties in the region. He said when this agitation for Biafra started, I told them that this matter would go beyond Unamdekanu. And today, it has gone beyond Unamdekanu. Every criminal says he is IPOP. Every criminal says he is ESN. Now, we have another bandit they called Simon Ekpa. Is this the Biafra we desired? To be killing ourselves and displacing others. That is why we said in the heat of that crisis that ever instead can never be part of Biafra, we are not Biafra. If Biafra is to be killing ourselves, to go to the market and start shooting people that have done nothing. To be declaring sit out home in our homeland and destroying the economy for what reason? These things are strange to our culture. He 
you are we have phones and we call our people to call us on phone and tell us where these people are the police and the bobiago security outfit are on ground i want politicians who use these boys they are the ones that go to court to sue Ebubiago. They go to national television to condemn Ebubiago. They have killed a lot of Ebubiago people who are trying to protect our people. I ask all the local government people to give us information because the Ebony State Governor David Umayi has described self-acclaimed member of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipop. Simon Ekbal as a bandit leading terrorists to destabilize the southeast region. Ekbal, who claimed he was disciple of Namdekano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra Lipop, rose to prominence in July 2021 after he was announced as the lead broadcaster of radio Biafra. Some people have been reportedly killed by miscreant enforcing a five-day sit at home order issued by him, despite opposition by Hypo. Heck, while in a viral video had ordered the people to the southeast to observe a sit at home from December 9th to 14, 2022, an order that has been marked by bloodshed and destruction of lives and properties in the region by its enforcers. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let's know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.